वेलकम बैक गाइस सो टुडे टॉपिक इज हाउ टू प्रिवेंट अ डॉग बाइट दैट्स एन इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक वेल बिफोर प्रिवेंटिंग अ बाइट लेट जस्ट क्विकली फाइंड आउट व्हाट कॉजेस अ डॉग टू बाइट इट कुड बी एनीथिंग फ्रॉम फियर टू नर्वसनेस और बीइंग डोमिनेंट और जस्ट बीइंग अब्यूज्ड एंड इम्प्रॉपर अ ब्रिंगिंग ऑफ द डॉग बाई इट्स ओन फिर ओके a dog bites but what do we do so wrong that we send such signals that the dog ultimately ends up biting us we'll talk about it later you see we immediately want to go and hold the dog create excitement make baby face and scare the hell out of the dog yeah that's true there's an exception of a happy go lucky type dog but even they can get too excited by your excitement and end up accidentally biting you while being all jump right there are other type of dogs like i earlier mentioned if it's a fearful or nervous dog he'll either fight or he'll flight that is either he'll attack you or he'll run away from you that's just instinctive behavior basic impulse of survival right okay now if it's just being dominant pure dominance that's it it won't be that bad or that uh, aggressive he'll be more protective and territorial and he will try to scare you off at first ultimately there are those dogs who are seriously so unstable and they are so unsure because their owners were not able to upbring them properly by fulfilling their psychological and physical needs now these dogs can do serious damage now what we do wrong is we try to use words and excitement to greet dogs or sometimes just words and hesitation which just creates a very bad uh, mix up that creates a bite and in animal world your energy and body language depends so if you project weak energy the dog might just come and attack you so sometimes it is that you immediately go and invade a dog's personal space and you try to cuddle him and the dog snap backs this mostly happens in the toy parades the small dogs that we think that even if a 15 year old yorkshire terrier is a baby for us right and for them it's not the case right so well then how do they like getting approached see most of the dog's brain is controlled by his nose around 60% of it so his nose does most of the greeting part so just not the greeting he'll first sense our scent and also sense our energy and body language So then how do we do it? We simply follow the guru mantra of greeting a new dog. I'll tell you that. No chat, no pat, no giving eye contact. In simple terms, no touching, no talking, definitely not giving eye contact. See, no touching and talking part just allows us to be calm and the dog approaches us, sniffs us, understands our presence. You know, understand our body language what kind of person we are and by not giving eye contact it just prevents the dog feeling challenged by us if he is a dominant one and just getting scared of us if he is an unsure and insecure dog so now you know the guru mantra i'll tell you how to approach a dog now when you enter someone's house you greet the human your friend whoever it is and just ignore the dog totally Let the dog come, sniff you. If he's trying to jump on you, being all jumpy, don't create more excitement. Just ignore him. Especially when you have kids around, you don't want the dog, if he's a large breed, to jump and you know harm someone. So once he's all sniffed up and he's calm, relaxed, settled down, then you can go and pet him. Now, how to pet him? A nice scratch and rub below his face, on the neck, or on the back, or a belly rub. It's good, but never ever approach a dog with a hand on his forehead, and definitely not with hesitation. It sends wrong signals, and he can end up attacking and biting. So now that you know how to ignore a dog and let him do his sniffing turn while you approach, some of you might ask me, what about street dogs? Well, you use the same thing, but in case some dogs come attacking, don't run away. the dog might just be provoked to chase it 
Just be on your stance. Stance, stand facing towards the dog. Maybe you have a bag, a bottle, uh, an umbrella. Just get in front of you to make you look more stronger and prevent a potential bite. Also, you can do one thing is raise your hand up or sideways. So you may look more bigger for the dog and it might uh, project that you are claiming your space and it might prevent, prevent him from attacking us. Okay? He will eventually bark and back off. Just never ever leave while he's barking at you and giving you eye contact. Okay? He might end up attacking you. Also, never ever hurt the dog. Never hit him. It will only make things worse. Anyways, most of the time, street dogs are pretty unsure of our presence and they won't really come and attack you directly. So, unless it's provoked by the human. So, really don't go their way if you're not really interested. Don't try any mischief with them and uh, eventually uh, spoil the dog's name. Uh, but I think I've made my point clear. So, like I always say, Please don't ever think always from our perception but also try to look from their perception and their point of view and then act accordingly because we are the only species to understand other species on the planet and what they are trying to tell us, right? That's, that's uh, the speciality of human species, right? Top of the food chain. So concluding, like I always say, don't humanize the dog just provide them with what they need and not what we want i hope this video helped you thank you so much until next time